I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> we'll figure it out. I'm basically a nerd also, if you haven't realized that yet. Hey, welcome to another Helsinki vlog. It is very drizzly and chilly today, unfortunately. I think it's supposed to stop raining later. Hopefully, it's been pretty rainy. If you saw my earlier Helsinki vlog, you'll know that I just saw a cheap ticket and booked it, but obviously the weather is not that great this time of year. I'm here at the end of October and it just is what it is. I'm still having a great time though. And yesterday I actually took the ferry to Tallinn, Estonia. So make sure you watch that video as well. But we are now picking it back up in Helsinki. And today is gonna to be all about churches and libraries because Helsinki has a lot of churches and libraries. I actually can't even do them all in one day really. So come along. Luckily most of the things I'm gonna be able to go inside and get out of the rain for. But photography wise, it's not the best. But like I said, I'm just kind of rolling with it. I just went inside the Helsinki Cathedral, which is this beautiful white neoclassical building that stands above the city and is one of the main landmarks in Helsinki. It was finished in 1818 and it's really beautiful on the inside too. I mean, luckily it's only barely sprinkling and just kind of misty, so. It could definitely be way worse. That's kind of how it's been on and off the whole time I've been here. Okay, just across the square from the cathedral is the free Helsinki City Museum, so I'm gonna go in there next. That was a cool little museum, very interactive and lots of like technology kind of aspects. There's also a big like children's area too, so there are a lot of kids there. It's not very big, but you get a good look at like the history of Helsinki, so I suggest checking it out. It has started to rain a little bit harder, but it's fine. I just have a short walk to the next cathedral. Okay, well there was a sign that said uh, divine service, no tourists, so I guess I'm not going in right now. Um, maybe later, <laughs> but I wanna know. Let me know in the comments. Are you an umbrella person? Because clearly I'm not an umbrella person, but I feel like there's just an inconvenience. Like, what do you do with it when you go in somewhere and you have like a sopping wet umbrella? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm crazy. I'm definitely wet, so. Alrighty, I've retreated from the rain, cold, and wind back to the Airbnb. I think I'm just gonna chill here for the rest of the day because the rain just became too much for me out there. <laughs> I brought a bath bomb and there's a bath in this Airbnb, so I think I'm gonna do that and then maybe work on the computer, watch YouTube, whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and flash you forward probably just to tomorrow because I doubt I'm gonna go back out today. So see you there, bye. There ended up being an epic sunset, so enjoy this little time lapse. Okay, it is another day here in Helsinki. It's not raining, no rain in the forecast. The sun is actually supposed to come out later. However, it's like 10 degrees colder than it has been and I'm like freezing. Are my ears red? Because they are really cold. But I'm gonna go photograph some of the cathedrals from yesterday and then go to some of the libraries and everything else that I have planned for yesterday and for today. And thanks for coming along, let's go. Okay, I don't think I really said anything about this church yesterday, but it's a Russian Orthodox cathedral made of brick. Very beautiful. I did go inside today, but it's Sunday, so they were having service, so I didn't like go in in. But I did walk to the top of the stairs and kind of look in. Very beautiful. I think it was built in this year. I'll just put it on the screen because now I don't remember what it was, but yeah, I'm actually gonna go back to the Airbnb because I forgot to get the other memory card for the GoPro because this one's almost full. And I'm gonna get my scarf because for some reason I didn't wear it. <laughs> okay, I've definitely gotten a little bit lost. That's the library right up there, but I can't find the entrance. One entrance is closed. I don't know where I'm going. We'll figure it out, <laughs> hopefully. Okay, so apparently I'm super blind. It's like this little door right here and then those are different stores. 
hopefully this takes me to the right place. <laughs> quiet obviously because it's a library let's go look around <laughs> all right that was a cool library i felt really awkward in there because <laughs> everybody else is you know reading and studying and stuff but i did go up to the seventh floor which is the top it had a really nice view but unfortunately the terrace was closed it was locked so maybe just because of the time of the year i don't know but it was pretty cool if you're looking for a nice view i suggest going up to that seventh floor but otherwise not really anything to do or see some of the other libraries i think have a little bit more attraction to them we'll go check that out next i'm actually gonna go to this bookstore over here first and buy my finish harry potter if you know you know i i dropped the book off at the apartment ate a little sandwich and i also ended up ditching the scarf because it was just a little too hot and now I'm off to the next library. I'm basically a nerd also, if you haven't realized that yet. Okay, I just did a quick walkthrough of the three floors of the Udi library. And wow, what a library. This one definitely had a different vibe than the last one, which was a university library. So it was really hush hush and everyone was studying. This one is more of a public library. There were kids, a kids section. There was even a robot, <laughs> two restaurants. There's one floor where you can like rent all sorts of technology from computers, giant printers. You can even borrow instruments and go into like the practice room that's like soundproofed and all sorts of stuff in there. It was really cool. The architecture was really cool too. And they had like one floor that was like tilted as you walked up and all the different sorts of places to sit. And yeah, it was really cool. Also the sun, <laughs> what? This is the first time I've actually really seen it. <laughs> it's supposed to actually come out and be out the rest of the day, hopefully. The clouds are starting to part, finally. <laughs> the next activity on the itinerary is a park and it's gonna take a 25 minute metro to get down there. to the park next to the ocean. I want to just wander around. I don't really know. Even though it's freaking freezing and super windy, it's nice that the sun is finally shining. Decided, might as well go up to where it's the coldest and the windiest, which is the top of this hill. All right, I'm back at the Helsinki Cathedral to take some more photos. I'm gonna go ahead and just end the vlog here. If you haven't liked or subscribed yet, please do that now, and I will see you tomorrow for my last day in Finland. It is the sunniest day here so far in Helsinki, but it's also the coldest day. I think it's only about 35 degrees Fahrenheit. It's also my last day here, and I'm kind of sad, but I am excited to go home. First up today, we have the National Library of Finland. It's right next to the cathedral over there. So let's go ahead and head in. Okay, I think of all the libraries I visited so far, that was my favorite just because it was so pretty and the architecture was awesome and all the rows of books it was just so cool definitely a more quiet solemn feeling to that one as well but if you love libraries i definitely suggest checking it out because it was gorgeous you can't bring any bags or coats into the library but they have a little coat room with three lockers where you can drop your stuff off before you go in I ended up 
wandering around a little, took some photos. Now I'm at the next attraction and the only one that I have on my itinerary that actually costs money. It's only five euro though, so it's not that bad. It's the Rock Church. I'll put the finished name on the screen because I know I'm not gonna be able to say it. Anyway, I'm just gonna let voiceover Rachel take over because I don't really know anything about it at this moment, so. I'll let future Rachel take care of that and I'll show you the inside. As the name suggests, the Rock Church was built directly into solid stone. It was completed in 1969 after many years of planning. The acoustics make this a great concert venue. There is a beautiful organ and the roof is circled by skylights, letting in a lot of natural light. I had a great time just sitting and taking in the ambiance of the church. I headed to Sibelius Park to see the abstract Sibelius Monument, which is dedicated to Finnish composer Jean Sibelius. It was created in 1967 by artist Isla Hiltunen. It is made of over 600 hollow steel pipes and is definitely really cool. Okay, I've stumbled across this adorable cafe, which I knew existed, but for some reason didn't have marked on the map or planned to go to, but I'm insane because it is just so adorable. And I actually got some food too. You might have noticed that I don't spend money on food if I can avoid it. I've only spent like 50 euro on food so far on this trip because that can really add up. I've mostly just been going to the grocery store, but I did get a cinnamon bun and a hot chocolate here. The hot chocolate was $3.99 and the cinnamon bun was $3.50. So, I mean, that's how much I paid for just my dinner last night. But I am planning on eating some other food today as well. Since it is my last day, I wanna get some finished food, but I'll keep you tuned in on that in a little bit. For now, I'm gonna enjoy these sweets and I'll let you know what I think. You can also get stuff to roast on outdoor fires like marshmallow, sausage, that kind of thing. It's definitely a cute little area right next to the water. I've come back down to the harbor and this old food market. I'm gonna go inside and hopefully find some salmon soup. That's the goal anyway. Well, I decided I wasn't actually hungry yet, so I wanted to just go for a walk along the water and just maybe work up an appetite, even though I've barely eaten anything today, but it's only, I think, maybe three o'clock. The sun's actually, Oh, it's not even three o'clock. The sun's actually supposed to set at like 4.30 today. I don't know why, I don't know how. <sighs> Man, I can't believe I leave tomorrow. I'm getting kind of sad. <sighs> A lot of the food stalls had salmon soup as an option. The first two places I went had already sold out, so you might wanna go a little early and make sure you get it. I ended up eating it at E. Erickson and it was so good. The broth was really creamy and flavorful and then there were giant chunks of salmon, potato, carrot, and then there was dill in there too and it came with bread. It was super good. I'm going to end the vlog here because I got to get back to the Airbnb and pack for my flight tomorrow. It's been a really nice trip. Maybe not the best weather but it's still such a beautiful city and I had an amazing time. If you have any questions about my time here in Helsinki, leave them in the comments and I will try my best to answer. Normally I do like a tip video for the places I visit, but I don't know if I really have very many tips for this place. To get around, I used the um, tram mostly, but I did ride the bus like once and I'm using the app, the Helsinki transportation app, which has a really good map on there. Ignore the sirens, it's fine. It has a really good map that like keeps track of your location so you can get off at the right stop and stuff. So I definitely suggest getting that. And then I just used like a multi-day ticket so I could do it as many times as I wanted for that amount of time. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. My next trip is going to be to Prague. So I'll see you there. I miss my scarf. It's actually a little too sunny. 
Um, is this better? Okay. <laughs> There's so much whipped cream. Thank you.